while the Lesotho Highlands Water Project delivers water to South Africa's Vaal River system and generates hydropower for Lesotho. Now, it's Africa's largest ever water transfer project, which aims to meet the industrial and domestic water needs of the Gauteng province. Let's discuss this and uh, what uh, what's extending from it. Sputnik Ratal, Director of Communications at the Department of Water Affairs, joining us on the line. Sputnik, thanks for joining us. So when we're talking about the importance of the Lesotho Water Project, um, how much of the Gauteng's water does it provide? Uh, and uh, uh, is it enough? I mean, can, can more be done to, to, to tap into Lesotho's water resources even more through this specific project? Well, uh, the Sotho Highlands Water Project, when you, when you remember, uh, is a project that started way back in the 80s. Lifespan and it's got. We are now into the second phase of the Lesotho Highlands project, and basically, as you as you correctly articulated, um, it is to supply water to the Val River system, and particularly for consumption within housing for households as well as industrial use. This is one of the long-term plans that, as a Department of Water Affairs, uh, you know, part of the mandate that. We have to look at the use of water security for the country, remembering that um, if housing industries and and all that do not work, the impact on the economy and not just on the economy but on the social life of South Africans and much more of the continent can be negatively impacted. Yeah. So. If you could just elaborate on the second phase and what you're looking to implement now with this agreement, as you say, it started back in 1986, in fact. The second phase includes um, the building of, of, of the Kati Dam. And actually to make sure that uh, we are, the supply of water into the Val River system remains constant and therefore uh, we, we never run into a situation where, like a lot of people say, we, we are going to run out of water at a certain time. Yeah. This is because uh, we need to make sure that that project, whilst it is giving water to South Africa, but it also impacts positively on the people of Lesotho, especially around the issues of uh, hydroelectricity. How much is phase two going to cost and how much uh, will it contribute to uh, the supply of water into regions like Gauteng and uh, will it be enough? To, to compensate for the growth in demand uh, from this region? Well, I, it's difficult to say that any amount of water will be enough because you must remember that demand varies. And even as the world evolves, there is more and more demand uh, is made on, on resources generally, and water is one of those. So um, for the moment, we, uh, this project is giving us enough for us to be able to cope with and eventually to for us to be able to, to to foresee into the future. That is why we are taking it in phases, and that is why the amount of water is controlled that flows into the Val River system, so that we don't just draw everything from Lesotho and, you know, you keep it here without you. We only uh, draw as much as is required, and what is also required for storage in the Val Dam and, and, and the other reservoirs. Mm-hmm.